The north of Israel is on fire. Hundreds of thousands of Israelis have been evacuated from their homes. There's a full-scale war going on in the northern border between Hezbollah and Israel. What should American policy be? Michael Flynn's gonna tell you right now. Hezbollah has made no secret because it's in their charter that their intent is to destroy Israel and kill every Jew there. Iran has made no secret as the backer, funder, and training ground of the Hezbollah leadership. And they supervise and make the strategic plans. Hundreds of rockets have hit Israel this week. The north of Israel is abandoned. Literally hundreds of thousands of people have been removed from their homes. Israel's on fire. The United States is doing nothing. What would your policy be in regards to how to deal with Hezbollah? Because that army is much more capable in terms of manpower, weaponry, support systems, and their embedded military buildup on Israel's northern border. What would you be proclaiming as American policy if you were advising the president today? To me, I think that, number one, that we will stand with Israel at all costs. We have to. We really have to. And people can say what they want about Israel, or, you know, if you really understand the history of that region, if you understand the history of our relationship uh, as, a, as an ally, uh, not just a partner or an acquaintance, right? I mean, an ally uh, in Israel that the United States has. And these, these organizations are, these are like appendages of Iran, okay? They are Hezbollah and Hamas. These are organizations that, that cannot continue to operate freely the way that they continue to operate and iran is the is the is the nation state behind them that's why we still declare nation iran as the as the sole nation state sponsor of terrorists i mean and those terrorist organizations are hamas and hezbollah and the houthis even though the state department recently pulled the houthis off of that list I mean, it's just insane so we have to stand with israel at all costs for the for the survival of the state of israel uh, regardless of who's in charge, um, because we need to have that it very, very strategic, very, very strategic consequences in play if we don't. And we cannot afford to have um, the, the, the lineup, if you will, without, without an Israel in the Middle East. And when I say without an Israel, without a state of Israel in the Middle East. So those, those organizations are going to have to they, they are going to have to be destroyed. They really are. They, they have to be taken apart. We cannot have, you know, the leaders of them. I mean, these are militaries. These are military forces, okay? Hezbollah is a military force. They're not ideologies. Hamas is a military force. The, the ideology is radical Islamization, right, of, of, of what we're facing. And it's global. And it is here in this country. Both those organizations, Hezbollah and Hamas, they are in the United States of America. That's why we... That's why we have to take this fight elsewhere. We can't have this fight here in this country. So, I mean, I, I just, I don't know. I mean, it's a, it's, it's, I don't, I don't want to be an armchair quarterback, you know, because I'm sitting here and, and, and able to say what I, what I want to say without the consequences of actually having to go and do it. But I did demonstrate that I was willing to go do it. Okay, I demonstrated that I demonstrated that I was willing to go into government service back into government service again, not as a military guy, but as a senior advisor to a president of the United States. And, you know, it's really up to the president to decide if that's the policy that the president wants with all of the advisors and all the options and all the all the information. You know, we have to make a decision about about standing up for freedom. Nobody's going on tour, tourist trips to, to Gaza. Nobody's going on tourist trips to the Baqa Valley where, where uh, Iran, Syria, and Hezbollah do their training. Nobody's going on tourist But people go on tourist trips over to Israel all the time. I've been there. I've been to Israel plenty of times. And, you know, it's a beautiful place when it's not being threatened by these radical, you know, inhumane, I don't even want to call them people. They're animals. Whatever. I mean, that's, I probably said enough.